I heard the news breaking that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter accident in Calabasas, just outside of Los Angeles, and uh, just on my way over to the premiere of this film, and it's it's hard not to immediately think about the film, and I, to be honest, I'm still sort of processing that. I grew up in the city, and he was such a he was such a an incredible athlete and such an icon of Los Angeles that. Uh, I, I do feel like we lost kind of a, 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 a real beloved Angelino today, and so I'm a little, I'm actually a little bit emotional about it. So, mm -hmm. you're a news junkie, of course. I, of course, of course. So when big story breaks like today, with yeah, Brian, does the adrenaline get going for you? Do you say, I wish I was coming? <laughs> Nat helicopter crashes. I think, I think that's just too close to home. But what happened to this morning with Kobe Bryant is so sad so sad we'll you know we'll know in a few months some of the details from the National Transportation Safety Board but anytime something like that happens it's, it's tragic helicopters are ex extraordinarily safe if flown you know properly what was the uh, impetus for getting a helicopter and getting news that way well back in the early days you know you had to get in a car and you had to fight traffic to try to get to a news story and then invariably every time we got there it was over with so you only had a press information officer telling you a spun story so we didn't really have any independent confirmation of what happened whether it was a police you know officer involved shooting or a fire landslide and the only way to get around in Los Angeles was by air by helicopter and that's that was the impetus that's what you know, that would get us there live and direct when news was actually happening. What resonates with me the most is their adventurous spirit. That they would go anywhere and to find a story that they felt was important to report on. So it wasn't just breaking news, it was other stories that they did as well, features? One of the things that I was a little bit, you know, the, con the constraints of making an hour and a half movie is that you don't get to include all of the footage you'd like. And with the tours, it's particularly challenging. But in addition to all the news stories they covered, they filmed the city, aerials of the city, at every time of day, from every angle, absolutely beautiful. So you could just watch aerials of, of their, they're just their pure aerials and be mesmerized by it. We had a jet ranger and so we would have a, a door that opened and the camera operator, Marika, would hang out the side with a, you know, a strap and, she, you know, which she didn't really like. <laughs> At first, yeah, I wonder why. And then we graduated to a larger helicopter with more power, a, a, a Eurocopter, and it had a sliding door, so she did that again. Then we put a gyro-stabilized camera system on. So that made all the difference in the world. So, it, it, you know, you can zoom right in through a window. And one time we watched O.J. Simpson watching TV through the skylight. <laughs> did it ever scare you? Uh, absolutely. The first time I got in a helicopter was over a brush fire. It was a Forest Service helicopter, and so he talked his way onto it to, to be the, to take some pictures of the fire. So we get in. There's no doors on it. And I get in. I'm in the middle, and I like I put a seatbelt on like this. And so he's like cleaning out, taking pictures. And I'm like, What's going on here? And then you know the next time I'm, uh, I think I know I'm in the helicopter with the camera on my shoulder and the door open, taking pictures over a brush fire. So what did you learn from doing that first experience to do the second one? Uh, that it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Just like anything else, you know, you, you, you take that, that first step and you go, oh, everything I thought it would be is not really what it is. What was the most exciting story you did? Oh, wow. Um, there were so many. But probably the, the Reginald Denny beating during the riots, I think, because the people were fire shooting at us that kind of focuses your attention. <laughs> but uh, it gets scary up there. There's too many helicopters up there for my taste right now. It can be dangerous up there. Oh, yeah. What's the most important part of this film that you want people to see or take away from? Uh, that uh, I was one of the first women to do what I did. And I want people to know that you can do it all, really. You can. You can have a career. You can have kids. You can take your family along, and they, it works out. I mean, you don't have to, but if you want to keep going with whatever it is you're doing, you can.